This video highlights the management of diabetic tractional retinal detachment. Advances in small gauge surgery and high speed cutting have remarkably influenced the way we manage these cases. This is a case of tractional retinal detachment with extensive neovascular proliferations. After doing core and peripheral vitrectomy, cutter is used to carefully dissect the fibrovascular component which was present along the optic disc and arcades. All the residual stumps are cleared. In yet another case of tractional retinal detachment, we realize that the fibrovascular adhesions are quite strong and widespread along the arcades. We start the dissection with the cutter but eventually shift to bimanual surgery using the chandelier light. This allows us to use a forceps in one hand and a cutter in another, giving us more finer control and safety to carry out the dissection. Thick neovascular proliferations are tackled once again with a cutter. Bridging traction is released by insinuating the cutter between the spanning sheets and underlying retina. PFCL was injected to help stabilize and flatten the posterior pole. Blood is aspirated and diathermy is used to stop active bleeders. Endolaser was done 360 degrees in periphery. Fluid air exchange was carried out whilst aspirating PFCL. Silicon oil was injected to maintain better stability of retina post-operatively. 